You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe and Monroe. It's five o'clock and I'm Alice Monroe with your August update. August police are appealing for information following the murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw's body was discovered last night. Chief DuPont is calling the crime a violent and despicable act. Anyone with information about the murder is urged to get in touch via the department's confidential tip hotline. It's horrible, Poe. Indeed it is. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut. You know why you're here, don't you? The dead girl. And this. What exactly were you thinking? You have one job. Don't get caught. Do you think you can do that this time? It's a rhetorical question. You're going to a town called August. Find Chief DuPont. He's gonna think you're someone else. This person. This is who you are now. Understood? Splendid. If someone so much as sniffs that you're different, you'll be deprecated. Deprecated. We expect you to use your ability. Just don't get caught. And never, ever change into a child. In brighter news, August resident Mia French is celebrating the return of her missing pooch, Barley. The eight-month-old Basset Hound puppy was found outside Daryl's chicken and ribs. And that's five o'clock with Poe and Monroe. I'm Violet. Welcome to the guest house. There are some rules. In particular, no shoes in the guest house. The carpet's priceless. Now, how long are you staying for? That's fine. It's yours for as long as you want it. There's not been many visitors of late. Perhaps the murder will bring some tourists in. It's just you and some tarot readers at the moment. It's deathly quiet. Yes, the murder. You haven't spoken to the chief yet, have you? Chief Dupont. He's the one who booked the room for you. You look lost. You should probably go and speak to the chief. Your room is just down the hall, last on the left. It has its own back door. The chief said that's the way you'd like it. Just finishing. You don't believe? That sounded serious. You must have a serious job to do. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. Pleased to meet you, Sam. If you'd like a reading. So, what's your question, Sam? <laughs> the Fool. I'm going to see a lot more of you, aren't I, Sam? Well, enjoy the journey. But remember, not everything is winnable. I'm in room one and that's down the hall. Rain's in two, Lexi's in three. And which room are you in, Sam? Good. We're neighbours. Just knock if you need me. It, it's only then I dropped the phone. I don't hear the metal frame thunk the ground. Uh, 
cut off her face in front of me. It took a lot of effort with the butter knife, alternately plunging and trying to saw. A curtain of blood ripped un- Good, you got my message. Chief Inspector DuPont. I wasn't sure you'd come, but I suppose you're between jobs? Well, we both know that's not true. But I like it. Sam, that's your cover now. So, the job. Dorota Shaw, 21, the Compass Cellist, redhead. Strangled. I know who did it, but I need proof. It's the tarot readers. Yes. Keep up, Sam. That's the girl who was murdered. Because they predicted it. The older one, uh, Bronwyn, she came into my office last night talking all crazy and saying Dorota was in trouble. I did my best not to lock her up. <laughs> it all sounded crazy to me. Tarot, the spirit world, cards that move, trans-dimensional thingamajigs? To be honest, I thought she'd probably been smoking something. And that's why I didn't take it seriously. Because things, I don't have enough on her. That's where you come in. The free guest house day isn't free. I need you to work the case and report back to me. Find out things from the inside. Can you do it? Okay. I'll be telling everyone that you've been hired by the Shores because obviously local law enforcement is either too incompetent or too overworked to solve anything. That gives you a license to talk to people, but only notionally. Don't actually touch people or annoy them. You don't have any real authority, understand? But you help me out, and I'll help you. Do I have to spell it out? I'll make your problem go away, or at least sink it to the bottom of a pile of paperwork. Your old town? The problem? Come and find me when you're settled. This is Second Chance Sunday for you, Sam. Don't blow it. What do you want to know? She was a cellist. Selected for a scholarship at Juilliard. It was in the local paper. I'm more of a Bon Jovi fan myself. Don't read the paper, do you? Yesterday, Monday the 9th at approximately 9pm, according to the coroner, we got a call from the mother just after 10pm. Not much. Perhaps you should do some investigating? Uh, born here, runs the local guest house. Lovely lady. Where are you going with this, Sam? What's she told you? She told you she's taking pills, didn't she? Let me handle Violet. She didn't kill anyone. Do, do I have an alibi for last night? Do I? Okay. I was here, and there are video monitors that will prove it. Thanks for ruling me out, genius. of pursuit up by a nightmare. A cold gaze grasped at my back. The air was thick in the mud. Limbs slowed with each straining step. I assume you've been to see Chief DuPont already? Not really. I'm sure she was a precious lamb, though. Yes, a lamb. Young. Innocent. Lambs get slaughtered, though, don't they? Nice, yes, that's a good description. Actually, I thought she was a bit slutty, to be honest. Sorry. I'm gossiping. I don't want to talk ill of the dead. Ask her boyfriend. Oscar lives at the vicarage next to the church. Don't tell him I sent you, though. I'm sure he's sick of seeing people already. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. I'm a very anxious person. I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. They're tarot readers. I'm thinking of asking them to leave, actually. Oh, 
Because they may have killed someone. It's not great for my reputation, is it? Stay at Violet's, the home of killers and hobos. I'm sorry, it's a derogatory word, isn't it? But strange people seem to gravitate towards this guest house, Sam. I think I'll get the sign changed. Melody. The disguise was decomposed. Not decomposing flesh, but decomposing reality. Oh. Hi. Sam, is it? Come on in. Make yourself at home. Mi casa es su casa. <laughs> Come on. I don't know anyone in this town, except for Bronwyn and Rain, obviously, and Violet, and the Chief, and now you. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Good old-fashioned fortune-telling. Well, kind of. We drew a card each and smushed them all together. Do you know what the most dangerous tarot card is? <laughs> You've done your research. The happy squirrel was vague and mysterious, but not evil. The Five of Swords? I think so anyway. There's nothing more dangerous than someone taking whatever they want no matter the cost. Yeah, I did. Rain got the Knight of Wands, that's Dorota, and Bronwyn got the Ten of Swords, which is, well, you know, <laughs> swords in general are bad. The cards told us to. Well, the cards of Rain. Taro gives us a rough direction and he narrows it down with some astrological jiggery pokery. He's basically a walking esoteric library. And if that sounds dull, let me reassure you, it is. No? Well, yeah. Well, no. We have a job to do. I didn't say job. I said job. Okay. We make a, um, cheese obelisk, a chob, and depending on the shape of that chob, we get different answers to questions. No, you don't. I was in my room all night with Bronwyn. We were, um, painting our nails. No, I mean, yeah, I've already cleaned it off. She's like my big sister, so pretty well. No. Increasingly impatient. And maybe the people sensed it. Sam, is it? I'm sensing you're not here for a reading. We saw it in the cards, not images. Feelings, impressions. Tarot can be very powerful. Not these cards. They only tell us what they want us to know. Chief Dupont thinks I did it. I'm hoping you'll convince him otherwise. All I'm asking is that you dig a little deeper than the Chief. I had nothing to do with Dorota's death. We saw danger in the cards and we tried to stop it. Trust me, Sam, we're on the same team. In my room, reading, I found a trashy romance novel under the bed. I'm assuming it's Violet's. It's all swooning heroines and brooding vampire Casanovas. Thank God Lexi saved me. She came to my room to chat for a little while. That was around nine, I think. You can ask her. I said the book was trashy. Look at this place. If her guest house is anything to go by, Violet's the opposite of trashy. I said yes, which is true in a way. You must be a new guest, or you're burglaring us. <laughs> I'm Rain, by the way. Pleased to meet you, Sam. Enjoy your stay. Uh, the hot water goes off at nine, by the way. So it's cold showers from there on in. It really bugs me. We did a reading. A group reading, actually. With a special tarot deck. 
you get it piecemeal, not everything in one reading. The last one we did showed a young woman being murdered. Young, talented, probably red-headed. Mercury? It's not exactly from here. Uh, with a normal tarot deck, you'd have the question, so you'd be the querent. With Mercury, it gives you the question and the answer. The cards themselves kind of change. It's a special deck. I don't have it at the moment. Bronwyn has it. I was in my room. Praying, actually. I don't believe in God, but I was still praying. It didn't work. I don't believe in anything, but I also believe anything is possible, so... Uh, it's a conundrum. <laughs> I didn't know her. I know she was called Dorota Shaw. She was young, had red hair, a talented musician. No, not at all. You're completely barking up the wrong tree there. <laughs> Spoken like the true killer. Posing as a detective, trying to frame someone else for the murder. You need you, Alice. <laughs> well, so what I can tell you is shopping relates to needs and desires. So, Gabby, what what you're what you're having dreams about? Physical need for life. So, what we're also dealing with here is the loss of money. What you'll often find with dreams is that the loss of money actually relates to a loss of self-identity. So Poe was very close with what he was saying because the impression that I get from this dream and... Find somewhere safe to transition. You're not a superhero. Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. The relationship that you have with someone should be equal, and you should be loved for, for who you are. Bron, are you okay? I'm not okay. Well, if you're worried, I should be worried. Why are you worried? Should I be worried? Are you worried? Only if you are. This could go on in circles for a while. Let's just keep cool and stay in our rooms. Thank you for your dreams. You're listening to Radio Argus. Bron, something doesn't feel right. I don't know what exactly, but it's not right. Thoughts on Tarota? Well, it's hard to say with just one victim. Musical talent, red hair, if there's another, there will be a pattern. Do you think it's another right? A right? As in the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? I suppose it doesn't really matter. Just have to try and stop it. Stop it? Birmingham? The Traveller? Dead girls? Ring any bells? Traveller? Bron, you're acting weird. Are you still you? Of course. No. Bron? If that's you, then... Who the hell are you? Wait. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? All square cheese because she was weak. Is there something I can help with, Miss Castle? I hope we're not being too much trouble. It's very brave of you to tell the Chief that Dorota would be murdered and then stick around afterwards. I'd have run for sure. You strike me as someone braver than that. Why would I- You're prime suspect, aren't you? 
You look strong enough to strangle another woman. Even if you're innocent, a jury would probably convict you. Even if I'm innocent? You look strong enough to strangle another woman too. Well, if you can't pay for your rooms, we might just find out. Question. Animals were cheaper. Bigger ones cost more, but only one kind would do. The African Grey was a good fit for Mother. They had the same media. Miss Castle, I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't kill Dorota. You're a prime suspect, and your alibi is that you were in the guest house with another prime suspect at the time. It doesn't look good for you. Have you got a problem with me? Everyone has a problem with you, Bronwyn. I can arrest you for something right now. How does perverting the course of justice sound? Kinky. Oh, you are pushing me today, young lady. To do as she was told, like the good girl she always was. Look at the baby! The parrot squawked. Poor baby Pen cried. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain, I'm Rain, okay. Foolishly dreamed of keeping. In truth, the parrot was better at being mother than mother. Sight, perhaps, when Penn stole breadcrumb from the kitchen counter. Rain, I'm so worried about Bronwyn. What are we going to do? Why are you worried about Bronwyn? The chief thinks she killed Dorota. Maybe she did kill Dorota. Make her tender. Just thin skin and hard bones. Have you met the new detective yet? We're basically under 24 hour surveillance now. Do you think Sam's onto us? Onto what exactly? The real reason we're here. What we did. The real. Sam's not a mind reader. At least I don't think so. Just try not to let anything slip. Heavy again. Um, and I think, I want to say, it's wooden. Yes. And there's a handle, and then it... Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Mrs. Gallagher, an unexpected pleasure. How long are you planning to be here? In town? I really don't know. Until the tarot tells us to leave, or you kick us out. Obviously. <laughs> How did you know Dorota was going to die? Why? Now that's a uh, very good question. Logically speaking, you'd assume all three of us were in on it. Or none of us. Hello, Violet. Is everything okay? Uh, ignore the mess. I was just going to tidy it up. Did you have a pleasant evening last night? Great, thanks. The room's really lovely. But you weren't in this room, were you? I didn't see you around yesterday evening. I stayed here. I was playing solitaire uh, with Bronwyn. Isn't solitaire for one play? You were- Painting my nails? No. Oh, yeah, that too. How do you know about that? I like to know what goes on under my- well, that doesn't sound sinister at all. You don't trust me, do you, Violet? Is it because I read tarot? Why don't you let me pull a card for you? No, thank you. No. Great. What do you want to know about? The murder. Ah. The moon. A card of illusion and deception. It shines, 
but really it's just a dusty old rock. Seems there's more to our detective friend than meets the eye. Did you sleep well last night? Yes, thank you. I didn't see you yesterday evening. I stayed in my room. You can ask Lexi. That reminds me, I think I found a book of yours. It's called He Came Through the Shadows. What makes you think it's mine? Your name's written on the inside cover. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. Who knows whether you've made the right decision or not, Claude. How's Bronwyn been? Claude, we've been through this. I honestly don't remember. I checked my diary and there's no entry, so I was probably here, as always. How can you not remember, Violet? I don't know. Which is exactly what I said in my statement. Don't try and get me to contradict myself. How's Bronwyn been? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well, if she has anything to hide. What was it I asked you to do again? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. Chief Dupont, what a pleasant surprise. I think we've covered just about everything twice over, but if you think I'm hiding something... Who are you really, Bronwyn Castle? Does it bother you, Chief Dupont, knowing there are things in this world that aren't black and white? You don't know what to file me under, and that makes you uncomfortable. Or perhaps you've already made up your mind about me. Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Hmm? You're a con artist. I haven't asked anyone for a penny. Good evening, Chief Dupont. Dorota's family, what does the tarot say about them? Not since I've met her. She's a lawful, good type character. If you play D&D. Lexi ever been in trouble with the police? I've never been convicted, no. Been charged with... My mind's gone blank. Dorota's family, what does the tarot say about I can do a reading, if you want. Yes. It's the Five of Cups. It talks about loss and dealing with that loss. I don't think you need a tarot reader to interpret that one. Oh. Chief Inspector, you gave me a shock. What is it? What have I done? Tell me about Bronwyn. Why? Well, it's not for the nightlife, I can tell you that. This is where the cards told us to go. I guess you could call it destiny. Do you know anyone here? There isn't any. And sometimes a girl needs a party. Tell me about Bronwyn. What were you doing last night? Nothing. I mean, I was here all night. This cat's on a... Bronwyn can vouch for me. Tell me about Bronwyn. 
She's an Aquarius. Her favourite colour is green. What else do you need to know? Is she your leader? Jail? What for? I haven't done anything wrong. Aiding and abetting a criminal. I don't need a read. I'll aid and abet Bronwyn to the day I die, but she's not a criminal. It is, and that's where it's staying. You don't need to see it, Sam. Violet can get confused at times. Just keep doing what you're doing and we'll get along fine. <sighs> Pains me to think that I was even on the list, but I'm ruled out because we have video footage of me in the station at the time of the murder. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The tarot readers have mentioned a job. We don't know what. Violet says she doesn't remember last night and you found out she's taking pills. Perhaps they're related. That's it. In her bedroom, she was naked, strangled. No signs of sexual activity of any kind. It was a weird scene to look at. There was one thing, but it's strictly between you and me. Dorota had a gold coin in her mouth. I'm being serious now, Sam. Not a word of this. It's the one thing only the killer would know. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe. It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. New dates will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival? Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Who are you? Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. It's typical of them. Yeah, I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work and we were, you know, hanging out. I left at about five. I'm playing football. It was just five aside. Uh, finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Not long, a couple of months maybe. We did care for each other. No, why? Violet Gallagher? What's it got to do with her? Bitch. Mind you, it's not exactly damning, coming from someone as frigid as her. She's all prim and proper with it. Oh, sorry, it's just... Why do people say things like that? You're not supposed to speak ill of the dead. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet, and I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Not hidden. Well, she liked it. Liked me to watch. Not, not other guys, just she had these, you know, voyeur fantasies.
she'd ask me to hide in the upstairs closet and then she'd walk in, strip off, start touching herself. She got upset if I came out before she'd finished. I'm sorry, is this helping with the investigation? <sighs> Clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. Not even as a joke. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted the rotor to focus on her music. Sam, what can I do for you? We're trying to save people. I said we're trying. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... <laughs> well, let's put a pin in this one, Sam. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. Fine. Jeeve Dupont was breathing down her neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically it'd be true. To protect Lexi, none of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam, I, I never usually lie. I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute. Which, now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. No, I wouldn't know how. I'm a tarot reader, not a medium. Maybe I should have pretended, though. Made up some fake message from her to give him some comfort. You lie once, and you just have to keep going, don't you? Son. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? Know about you? Or what is there to know about you, Sam? I just mean people have an act. A facade. Oscar seems nice, but for all I know, he tears pretty girls apart. She flaunts herself. Her body. Had boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother? Not really, just gossip. Apparently she went to have some portrait photos done and started stripping off. Weston's photographic. Zack Weston. He'll get himself into trouble one of these days. If you keep taking pictures of pretty girls in their underwear, Somebody's going to get upset. Zack's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. You're good at talking. At Weston's Photographic, off the high road. It's late, but he's always there. 
have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. Hi Sam, back for more already. I didn't. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was logged in doing phone readings, so she's alright. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was though, cross my heart and hope to die. Traveller? That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Cheeky. Are you flirting with me? Oh dear, <laughs> am I blushing again? There's a murder to solve. Maybe you should do that first, then me. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> No, I think Bronwyn met him though. This morning, he only wanted to see her. I guess he didn't want anyone else to hear what he had to say. Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. I'm Oscar. Is there anything else I can do? Oscar Wainwright, what a surprise. Why did you call Dorota slutty? Oscar. I thought you knew about the pictures. What pictures? The ones where she's wearing very little. Does this not mean anything to you? No. Then, I'm sorry, it, it's not my place to judge. Open relationships, semi-open relationships, relations in chips. Uh, it all makes me feel very old. Oscar? What are you doing here? I want to help. I know. We've already talked about this. You said you'd get into Bronwyn Castle's room somehow and have a look around. Why? To find evidence that ties her into Dorota's murder? Maybe you're not the right man for this job. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Violet! I changed your sheets last night, and you aren't here. That's impossible. I was in that room praying the entire time, and those sheets have definitely not been changed, I can assure you. Are you trying to frame me?
Hi, I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Didn't expect you to come back. Have you contacted Dorota? No. Yes. She said what? Why would she say that? She'd never have said that. Why are you lying to me? I'm probably confused. She- I knew. Maybe it's someone I know? Is that what she means? I'm sorry the police ignored our prediction. It's okay, just... How did you know? How did you come up with a name and then... She's gone. She's not gone. She's waiting to pass. How... The usual way? The front door. Like, it's a townhouse and she's on the third floor. So, other than teleporting or a big ladder, that's the only way. Do you get on with Dorota? Not really. Especially not now. I convinced I got her into the wrong crowd or something. Am I really a bad influence? Yes. Thanks, Bronwyn. I, I know it's a bit soon, but maybe we can grab coffee sometime? Just, just to chat about things. No thanks. I like you, Bronwyn. How about soon? How about tonight? I can come to the guest house? No, you can't. So it's a date? Sort of. I'll, I'll see you soon. Hi. Hey. Hello. Sorry, I'm not used to dating so soon. I'm actually not in the mood anymore. Oh, um, I, I wasn't sure I was thinking on doing anything, you know, physical. Get up on the bed. It's- Thanks, Bronwyn. I'm still trying to make sense of it all. I noticed I've got some Earl Grey in the hallway. I know it sounds a bit rude, but... I'd really like some, if you wouldn't mind. Sure, I'll be right back. Actually- Well, what if I wanted you to leave so that I could make myself more comfortable for you? I have no idea how you knew what was going to happen to Dorota, and neither did the police. I'm going to find out, and when we do, you're going to pay. You're going to pay for what you've done.